Hello, my name is Adelson Oliveira and I'll be presenting this video for dnnhero.com and this video is about the remember login checkbox in the user login uh, module of a .NET Nook website. So just to give a, a quick uh, background in that topic, uh, I also get quite frustrated frustrated uh, when I was trying to use the remember login uh, checkbox of any .NET Nook website because I always check that checkbox and when I come back to the site one or two days later I had to enter my login information all over again so what, is, what was the point of having a remember login uh, checkbox if that doesn't really work well so here, here's the here's the catch uh, the remember login uh, option by default only works for the next hour in .NET Nook because there's a setting in the web config file of, uh, of .NET Nook that says that by default uh, the remember login will only uh, keep the information for the next hour. So this is the reason why if I try to use it right now and I try to log back in after an hour, then I will have to enter the information all over again. So uh, to show exactly where you have to change this, we have to open the web.config file and I'm using my local system so I can just browse through Windows Explorer. So here's my folder and here's the web.config. Now, before uh, before you do anything with your web config, just make sure that you create a copy of the web config in case something goes wrong and you have to revert that back. So always create a copy of your web config in case you are changing it. Now let's open the web config. I have it open right here and let's find, let me just expand this a little bit and let's find forms, the terms term form and here it is there is a forms tag uh, it says that it's used in cookies which is uh, the mechanism that it used to remember the login information and the, the the key parameter here the key setting is a timeout setting which is set to 60 minutes okay now just a matter of increasing this number and I just put some numbers here. If you want to set it for a day to remember uh, for next day, just again multiply 24 hours by 6. This is number for 7 days a week. Then this is number for a month. This is the other number. And for one year, this is the the number that you should put. Let's, let's put it for one year. Just keep in mind that if your site is uh, if your site is not uh, let's say a, a banking website or something that really uh, that needs a lot of uh, security and protection uh, then you can you can uh, go crazy with this number here you can put the number that you want so the user will never or almost never have to log back in let's say it's a it's a it's a forum website or something that again it's not dealing with very very secure information but if it's dealing with very very much secure information you may want to put this as I don't know as, as uh, you may want to keep this as 60 or even reduce that number so again it will depend on your needs but once this is changed you just have to save and now the site will be uh, in my case here it will be storing the it will be remembering the login for the next year so this is basically it. This is how you can make sure that the remember login will work as you want according to your website needs. Okay, thank you very much. Bye.